it can be difficult to understand and accept that the sin of the Enneagram 9 is ultimately sloth. This is a, a strange conversation to have as I've explained it to people that I know and say, you know what, I'm Enneagram 9 and we can look at each of the Enneagram numbers and they match up to one of the seven deadly sins of the Bible. And yes, I know that's not a perfect conversion because there's seven and nine. Look it up. But ultimately, for nines, it's sloth. Now, this stereotype about nines is that we are oh, just so sleepy and just so tired and I'm just Garfield the cat. I just want to take a nap. I'm not really inspired. I'm just daydreaming. And that's, you know, or Homer Simpson would be a prime example. What does he want to do? He just wants to drink beer, sit on the couch, eat donuts, ignore his family, you know, watch the football game. It's this idea of sloth. But I think that's an extreme version of, of what that is. The reality is, for me and I'd say most nines that I know in real life, we're actually, if you're in a healthy place, you're actually counter sloth. I just made that up. That doesn't really make sense. Kind of does. But kind of with an Enneagram 6 that there's this counterphobic concept that I'm not, I'm going to show you that I'm not afraid. Whereas with 9, it's I'm going to show you that I'm not lazy. I'm going to show you that I, I actually am very ambitious. And of course, as we know, a healthy 9 is going to resemble a 3, that very ambitious, project-oriented uh, person. So I think that's a lot of what it has to do with, is that when you look at an Enneagram 9 who's getting things done, and who is ambitious and, and, and assertive, you're looking at a healthy nine because they're the opposite of that Homer Simpson concept. They're the opposite of, of Garfield the cat. They're not just sitting there. They're very inspired and they're getting things done and they're very driven. So ultimately, when you're looking at a healthy nine, just know that there's a good chance you're looking at someone who, even if it's subconsciously, they're tuned in this concept that I'm not lazy, I'm very productive. And of course, we know that nines, probably more than any other number, want to feel included and want to belong and be part of something. So if you're not doing your part, then you'll be left behind. So it's finding that identity through, often through our work and through our creativity. So if you see a healthy nine, you probably see someone who doesn't look lazy. If you see someone who openly looks lazy and like, are they not motivated at all? They're just, well, maybe they're an unhealthy nine. Your comments belong right here.